Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to another video. I just want to start off this video by saying it is in collaboration with Decenio. I have been so excited for this collaboration for about a month now and now I'm finally able to do it. They have kindly gifted me four beautiful prints to put into my home just to make it even more pretty and I have to say I am like so so happy with what I've ordered. As you can see I've just got two prints behind me. Decenio is a Swedish based brand. They do a range of prints and they are so affordable. If you're looking for any modern prints for your home they also do city prints, they do animal prints, they do frames to match, the, the frames come in loads of different colours. So you name it, if you're after something, you're going to find it on Decenio. They are, they are just amazing. Decenio do update their collections really regularly, so there's always something new to check out on the website. What's also really good on their website is if um, you go on, they have something called a gallery wall, which is a tool to help you kind of build your dream wall so before you buy your prints you can see what it's going to look like on a wall all the different sizes it just helps you envision what you want out of your your prints and what you want it to look like so i think that's a really good tool that they have decenio also ship worldwide including the us and it's usually within five days they were so quick when i placed my order I have to say my prints were probably with me within four days, three or four days. Um, super, super quick, super happy, very speedy, great customer service, great delivery. Another great thing about Decenio is that they're FSC certified. This means that all the trees that are used to create these prints are harvested in a responsible and economic manner and is great for the environment. So I think for me, and for a lot of other people that's extremely important um, and so I think that's that's a really great thing that they do. And all the paper that are used in their prints are made in Sweden at one of the world's most sustainable paper mills which is amazing. So for every tree used to make these prints just like the ones behind me, Decenio plant two new trees into the environment and this is along with an organisation called By Agroforestry. They help um, plant new trees into the environment and since 2017 has planted more than 25,000 trees back into the environment, which I think is just amazing. I think it's so important. You're, you're making a difference to the environment. So for me, it is a massive, massive thumbs up because I mean, you all know what I do for a job. I love animals, I love the environment and every little helps. So I think it's, very, very important um, to, to be doing that. I do have a discount code to use at Decenio online. You will get 25% off with the code Samantha McGregor. I will leave it linked down below so you can use it and get your 25% off. This discount code is valid from the 3rd to the 5th of August and just pop in the discount code at the checkout and it'll take the discount off for you. The theme that I decided to go with my prints was Paris so I went for a kind of city vibe and I'm very very happy that I went for that. Paris is one of my favourite cities and I was meant to be going this year but unfortunately that got cancelled. This video is going to be a kind of cosy home vlog, I need to do stuff around the house, I need to get my new art up and I just need to, yeah, just do bits and bobs around the house, just make it look a little bit nice, it's my birthday this week and I just like to have a nice clean tidy house for when people come round. So I think that's going to be the plan. I thought I would just quickly show you outfit of the day. I have this really nice little top on from New Look. I got this last year. My jeans are River Island from ages ago, but I love them and I just roll them up at the bottom because I'm short. And my little sandals are from New Look. I'm just waiting for the the weather to just kind of chuck it down. Um, 
because we're expecting thunderstorms and which is not great but it's still not going to stop me from wearing my summer stuff i tell you that because we just need to make the most of it i think so yeah i'm gonna make a cuppa and then i thought i would give you maybe a little tour of the flat i mean i'm just gonna tell you now it's not big but i love it and i just thought i'd give you a little tour right well i will give you a tour it's not um it's not overly tidy but we'll get there i'll show you outside It's very nice actually, like the stair when you come in. So then you come in and this is my hallway. So you come in and then we have the bathroom. So we have a small corner shower and a nice big bath. I love my skinny tan stuff. I love to tan, although I do have a real tan at the moment, thanks to the sun. I love having a bath and I always use the sleep aromatherapy bath salts when I'm in a bath. Oh, it is the best. And I always like candles. I have my Redox bath, um, bath soak. And then all my little drawers here. I keep everything in. And yep, obviously there's a Disney theme going on with the towels. So we'll come out of the bathroom, back into the hall. Right, okay, so this is the spare room. Okay, so this is the spare room. Now, the spare room is full of cardboard boxes. <laughs> I need to get rid of this. And a hoover, which is just lying in the middle here. And my pole. So, I mean, it's a bit of a messy room right now. So uh, apologies, guys, but obviously there's my pole which I should be on more than I am it's also acting as a walk-in wardrobe because I have clothes everywhere and I need to get this to the skip so just don't don't look at that but yeah literally just clothes clothes everywhere because I don't have anywhere to put them and bags and shoes and I need to take that to the skip so this room right now is basically like a walk-in wardrobe slash pole room slash dumping ground so we really do need to sort this room but the fact is that I don't have any kind of guests or anybody coming to stay anytime soon so that's why I just can't be bothered to clean it so we'll come out of here back into the hallway I have my cupboard here with where I dry my clothes and it's just like a, a cupboard um, which I have more shoes in and bedding and everything like that. I have my little mirror which used to be in my bedroom but I've moved out here because I do like before I walk out the door. I obviously like to have a little look at what I look like, you know, like everybody does. But when you open this up, which I also need to have a clear out of because it's got a load of jewellery in it. Um, so that is that. I've got some nice wall art here. My living room. I need to tidy this bit up. My sofa. Which I need to put my prints up on the wall. My sofa is from Argos. And the theme in here is kind of African animals. So I have like elephant cushions, my elephant print. I have a giraffe here and it's kind of like pink and grey, I've got a nice little rug going on here, my TV. I do need to arrange these flowers today, I got them from HomeSense um, and I plan to just put them here. And can I just show you this? So my friend and colleague Kelsey drew this picture of Maddie for me. Now she is amazing at artwork and I got her to do this of Maddie. So this is Maddie's chicken face. I had to have a bit of chicken when I was taking the photo. I had a bit of chicken dangling in front of her face to try and get a really good photo. I just think it's amazing. I'm going to have it forever and ever. And so it's kind of a kitchen slash living room. So then this is my kitchen. And I really like my kitchen. Sorry, I need to wash my bedding. 
Um, some uh, Mickey Mouse theme going on again. Love a bit of Disney. So yeah, I mean, and then it's just my bedroom left. I'll show you my bedroom. And this is my bedroom. So my prints are going to go up here in the wall. It's a very, very bare wall. And this is my bed. My lovely mirror from the range, which I recently got. And now I couldn't live without it because it's just, I love it. And we'll come over here. Just have some clothes and some bags right now because I really need to take this to the charity shop. I just don't know if the charity shop are taking more clothes right now. Anyway, and this is some summer stuff. It's a lovely park outside. I'm very, very lucky to have this view and I have this huge park right on my doorstep. Um, and I do love a candle, so I do. should really um, start burning them. But yeah, this is my bedroom. I This bedroom is actually smaller than the spare room, but I wanted this room because of the view because the view is just really good to wake up to in the morning. Um, and then my spare room is obviously, yeah, I just use that for like my pole dancing and stuff. Um, but yeah, as I say, it needs needs to be cleaned and not be a walk-in wardrobe. So I got these kind of fake flowers. Like you can't beat fake flowers because they just never die and you don't need to water them. And I just think it's great because yeah best thing ever so yeah i popped into home sense the other week and picked these up so i got a couple of just ones like these they were actually fairly cheap that was 3.99 this one was 2.99 and that one was 2.99 and then picked up some really nice pink ones like a bunch of three that was 2.99 and then I picked up three of these. Now, I actually really like these. They're like fluffy, I don't even know what you call them. Um, but they were 2 99 each. That one was 2 99 Yeah, they were all 2 99 Yeah, so, so I'm just gonna actually kind of arrange them just now and shove them in my vase. Does that look? I actually really like that. Just shove that in. Isn't it? It's so pretty. I could obviously add to it. There's not that much in there, but for sure, I think it's uh, quite nice. Beautiful. So when I put pictures up on my wall, I just use these little things. They're the 3M command strips and they don't damage the wall they just stick to the wall and but you can peel them off and they have no damage um, and your pictures are kind of up on the wall permanently but you know you can take them down they don't fall off or anything like that so I really recommend if you don't want to be banging nails into your wall I really recommend these as they work and I use them on all my photos and things that I've already got up on the wall at the moment and none of them have fallen down so I highly recommend these. So these are the four prints that I chose. Now these are all from Paris. Again, I'm gonna say it, my favorite city ever. So just got a nice front door in Paris, pink, um, and yeah, kind of going for a pink and white theme. I mean, my bedding's pink and the, the walls are cream. So I decided to go for the silver frame, but you can get white, black, gold, I think there's a wooden one too, tower with a beautiful tree. I think it's like little blossoms. And again, pink theme. I picked this one with the Eiffel Tower and then the carousel. It's, to, if I'm honest, I also love Paris because, well, my dad used to work in Paris, so my mum would take me to go and visit and I would always go on the carousel when I was there, so, 
I just thought this would be a really nice photo to have just on my wall. Um, it's just kind of like memories. So I picked that one and then I picked this one. I just thought this was kind of had a modern twist to it with the pink car and the panda. So again, sticking with the, the pink theme. Just wanted to put them in this order, which I just think is really nice. And I can certainly add to it. Um, I just like the different sizes as well, like these two are the same size, this is a big one and that's a small one. And I just like the combination of the sizes, um, I just think it's really really nice. So I'm so happy with these, so 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 happy. So it's now going on half past one, um, we are going out for dinner tonight, we're going to a really nice restaurant in South Queensferry called Scott's. Um, they sell quite a lot of seafood actually um, and I cannot wait. So I was just debating on actually what to wear. It was between a few outfits um, but then I was thinking that I might wear my new dress I bought. I was originally going to wear it on Sunday because me and my friends are going out for my birthday on Sunday drinking in Edinburgh but I think I've changed my mind and I'm going to wear my dress tonight and then on Sunday I'm going to wear like a really nice top, jeans and heels, I think, I think. It's just so difficult because I've bought quite a lot of new stuff recently, I'm like oh my god, I don't know what to wear. So yeah, no, I think I'm going towards my new dress tonight if I'm honest, it's a really nice restaurant so you can, you know, you can like dress up and, and look really, really nice. So yeah, I just can't wait to eat lots of nice food and drink cocktails. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to chill, maybe watch a little bit of TV, catch up on just some of my stuff I've not been able to watch recently. And then I'll do a get ready with me later. And then we can have a little chat while I'm doing my makeup for tonight and my dress is at Ross's so I will go and get changed there but our meal's not till half eight it was really late I couldn't get any earlier than that so it's going to be a light one okay so it's just past five I'm going to do my makeup for going out tonight I have cleansed my <coughs> Maddie excuse me don't be so rude and my face is all nice and clean for putting some new makeup on what I like to use <coughs> mad what i like to use before putting my makeup on is this body shop kind of facial mist it hydrates soothes and it's makeup friendly so i just like to spritz this on it kind of takes away the redness and everything on my skin but it also really kind of hydrates it which is really good um so yeah i'm just going to kind of show you what i'm going to put on my face basically for tonight. I am going to use my new primer from Kiko Milano. It's the... Well, that'll be that then, on the floor. Um, it's the Wonder Woman primer. Let me get the box over the floor. It's a Power Fierce Prep Face Primer. So, let's... Uh, see what it's like on my face. Now I've used this before but I used it with a tinted moisturiser kind of BB cream so this is going to be slightly different because I'm putting on a, like basically a full face of makeup and I'm going to go in with my trusty Estee Lauder Double Wear. Anybody use that as well? Because I'm freaking addicted to it. It's so bloody good and it doesn't budge. And I actually got this for $24.25. So if you've got a MacArthur Glen outlet near you, they have a, um, like a what's it called? What's the shop called? It's like a cosmetic cosmetic company or something like that. Anyway, they sell discounted makeup, everything. Bobbi Brown, MAC, Estee Lauder, you name it, all your really high-end um, makeup for like slightly cheaper. So usually this is £34.50 and I got it for £24.25. And I'm going for my dark shade, which is Tawny, because I am super tanned right now. Face is not so tanned, but my body, 
my body is tanned so i'm going to shove that on right so always use a damp blender of course god i forgot how dark this is people say that this makeup is really cakey and it can be if you put a lot on but just don't put a lot on it's you know I really like that I used to never like natural makeup and I used to when I was younger just honestly pack it on and it was not good it really wasn't a good look so the older you get you definitely go more natural I think <laughs> for sure amazing so that's the base done gonna shove on some concealer I think the one I'm gonna use right so this is lighter than my foundation just gonna pop that on I mean I'm no makeup artist let's face it so I'm probably doing this all bloody wrong I'm gonna use the Kiko Milano Dolce Diva um, powder. This is a new one that I bought. It's literally translucent, so it's it looks like it's white. I'm going to do a bit of contouring with my number seven bronzer. This is in the shade. <coughs> yes, Mad, we hear you. Um, this is in the shade Maple. My favourite. <coughs> kind of running low, so I need to get a new one. Then I'm going to go in with my Tarte blush in the shade Peaceful. Um, this is a 12 hour blush, so it does last. It's very good. Very pigmented as well. Brows. I always feel really undone when my brows aren't done. So the pencil I use is the NYX pencil um, in Espresso. This is literally a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've used the Anastasia Beverly Hills one before. It's great. Found this one. Exactly the same for a fraction of the price. Once my eyebrows are all done. Do you know, I've had this spot here under my eyebrow for bloody ages. And I mean, it's not even a spot anymore. It doesn't hurt. But it's still there and it's taken ages to go away. Anyway, once I pencil in my eyebrows, I go in with my new Kiko Milano eyebrow designer gel mascara so i'm gonna use my little mirror for this and it's so cute like a tiny little brush oh fly you're very annoying and i just it's clear just a clear gel we start with i'm just gonna go in with this light color and this light color as a base i just mix the two of them together That is Ross bag. Oh, right. oh I did I had a I had a can waiting for me and I've not even opened it. Crack that open. I was gonna say, is that cold enough? Yeah. Mm. What have you got? Huh? You can you can't drink, can you? That sucks, doesn't it? So that is us all ready to go out for our meal tonight. I am so excited. I've not been out in so long and I've not actually been able to dress up in so long. So I've actually got my little dress on from River Island tonight and I'm just going to team it with um, a pair of mules that I've got. They're just black with a chunky heel. Um, they're also from River Island. Uh, I'm just going to team it with my little mulberry bag um, and then that'll be me. Just want to say a massive thank you for watching guys. If you did like this video, please please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget down below is my decennio code Samantha McGregor enter that at checkout and you will get 25% off your prints and frames big big thank you guys and I'll see you soon